is the 911 Talk Podcast, episode 81, for Monday, April 23rd, 2011. Welcome to this edition of E911 Talk with your host, Mark Fletcher, product line manager for emergency services at Avaya. Now, here's Fletch. Globality. Now, a state or condition of worldwide relevance. This past week, I had the great pleasure of attending the European Union Emergency Services Workshop in Riga, Latvia. Now, in addition to being a tremendous opportunity to meet friends and colleagues from across the globe, it was an extreme honor to sit down with Europe's brightest minds in public safety communications. I can only imagine what it must have been like to be a close friend of Wilbur and Orville Wright as they sat down and designed something that would revolutionize the world with air travel. And then have a VIP seat during the first flight, where on December 17, 1903, Orville Wright piloted the first powered airplane a mere 20 feet above a windswept beach in North Carolina. Now, although that flight lasted only 12 seconds and covered about 120 feet, it was the dawn of a new age in technology. In contrast, my flight distance from JFK International to Sheremetyevo International in Moscow was 4,661 miles and lasted about 10 hours. Putting that into perspective, that's over a 200,000% increase over what we did 99 years ago. Now, we're all very aware that 911 is the universal number in the United States and that in the EU, 112 is recognized across all member states. Other countries typically have some level of emergency infrastructure, and in my opinion, it's the lack of mandated global compliance that has allowed countries to develop on their own path. With the promulgation last June of Next Generation 911 and the NINA I-308003 standard, as well as the publication of the ENA NG-112 long-term definition, I think it's safe to say that Next Generation Emergency Communications has reached a state of globality. Just as modern air travel has shortened the distance around the globe, modern broadband IP-based communications has pretty much eliminated it. Just a few years ago, I needed a costly calling card and a fat wallet just to call home and let folks know that I got there okay. Today, with a wireless broadband connection to the internet, I can use applications like FaceTime and the Avaya 1X client to speak with those same people with incredible quality and no perceivable latency on voice as well as video. And even though my iPhone was a complete brick on the PSTN network because of it being a CDMA device and not GSM, I still had full functionality and access to all my applications over Wi-Fi. One evening while returning to my room, I tripped and fell, subsequently breaking two ribs. The phone on the wall was only a few meters away, but there was no way that I was going to be able to get up and reach it. My iPhone had no PSTN service and wasn't even compatible with the cellular infrastructure but I had a Wi-Fi connection. Still, my choices were limited. That's when I truly realized the need for globality of emergency services. Nina preaches anytime, anywhere, and any device. And as Ina develops their standards, I'd like them to add any network to that list. That request is going to change the face and format of emergency communications as we know it. We live in a world where the app is king. One of the main problems with 911 and 112 and 999 and whatever the emergency number might be is the number itself. Society has come too far for those numbers to change. The evidence of that fact is clear. In the US, 911 was the original emergency number and is known by a high percentage of the population. This is strengthened through the education efforts of NINA and other organizations with our nation's youth. On the other hand, Europe faces a population that has grown up with other numbers and their efforts to change the number to 112 have only been about 30% effective in many countries. Going back to my incident, even if I had reached the phone, I'm not sure what 112 would have done. There were no instructions on the phone on what to dial or even where I was located, although I would have probably been able to vocalize that. Later that evening, after being able to get back and make it to my room, I noticed that the device there was clearly marked with instructions to dial 999 in the event of an emergency. The next day, I discovered that the actual emergency numbers in the country were 01, 02, and 03 for police, fire, and medical. Would 112 also work in the country? Well, I'm not really sure, but what would have worked is an app on my phone, and that app could examine my location based on many different technologies and then present me with whatever choices were available. The next day, I ran into some folks from the Fresh Foundation, that's spelt F-R-E-S-S. Now, in recent months, there have been several attempts with apps for emergency situations. And while some have received 
positive response from public safety, like Share with 911 and Smart 911. Others, like Crime Push, have been developed in a vacuum with total disregard for public safety compliance. The Fresh Foundation app falls into the first category. Most importantly, Fresh is 100% free to everyone, including Peace Apps, and allows you to utilize voice, video, photos, and text anywhere in the world. In addition to public safety access, Fresh can also offer you other important numbers and information, such as how to contact your embassy based on where you're from and where you are. Based on this, Fresh is the first application to bring globality to emergency services applications. If you want more information, you can go to www.getfresss.com and see where and how Fresh is available in your part of the world. I'd like to thank the European Emergency Number Association, including Gary Machado and Christina Lambreas, for putting on a fantastic event that really brought globality to emergency services across the EU. I'll certainly be looking forward to next year's event in Poland. You've been listening to the E911 Talk Podcast with your host, Mark Fletcher, Product Line Manager for Emergency Services at Avaya. E911 Talk is a weekly podcast available on sites like this, as well as iTunes, and is available free of charge. If you have any comments or questions, you can email Fletch at FletcherM at Avaya.com. That's Fletcher, the letter M, at Avaya.com. Be sure to listen in next week for more informative topics on E911. 911, the line is recorded. What is the exact location of your emergency?